<laughs> All right, we are out here on the Umqua for Shad's Bay, day one. Uh, we've seen some fish caught. Uh, there's a lot of weeds floating through the river, which is making it real hard to get a good swing. So uh, we might have to try some single hand stuff, but I'm going to swing this run down here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, we'll see how that goes. All right, we'll see you in a minute. Got him. Got a shed? Oh, he's off! Oh, <laughs> we found him. Did he hit on the swing or on the um, on the strip? The swing. Oh. Sean. <laughs> Another shad? Yeah, Smolly. Bass or shad? Yeah, bass. bass. What happened? Oh, oh. oh no way. No. No. Oh no. Damn it. Fucking euro rods. Mark, I'm sorry, bud. I'm sorry you snapped your euro rod for my meal. <laughs> So we just uh, dropped off the drift boat, um, man, just so weedy. There's this, these clumps of algae just floating down everywhere and it's not real fun to fish in. Uh, every cast you've got to clean off your, your lure and sometimes it like, gets all for your line. So it's not been a whole lot of fun. Um, seen some fish caught today, but it just hasn't been our day. We're gonna try from shore here for a little bit and then eat some lunch. <laughs> I was trying not to catch one, but it did anyway. There's my obligatory bass. Not a shad at all. He's cute though. Little red eye. Whoa, huge one. All right, spot number 10. And uh, we're the only ones here except for that person that's leaving. So, all right. We're gonna swing it up. Let's catch some, some shad, Mark. Let's do it. Shatter Can you tell we're tired? Nah. <laughs> Finally, we are hooked up. Shad. Ooh, he's pulling line. Oh, he's taking drag. Oh, he's pulling, man. I think he's got me wrapped up now. Just a line. Heck yes. All these hours today. We should have just stayed here. <laughs> oh, this is a really good one. Yeah, that was a double, wasn't it? I hooked him when he was still in the net, so that counts. Man, this thing is pulling. He ain't all that big either. He's not, he's maybe 15, 16, but man, what a fight on him. We found him, Mark. Heck yes. There's American Chad. Oh, there he goes. They fight pretty good, huh? 
I guess their bodies like cause they're they're kind of flat and they turn away from the current and they just pull. You don't have a plate, you can use a fin. <laughs> All right, so day two, just woke up, broke camp, uh, found Mark. Mark went out early uh, with, to go find Shandy. We floated with yesterday and he's already out here. Hopefully he's on some fish already. We're gonna get set up in the same place that we uh, finished at last night and hopefully we get on some. All right, excited. See you in a minute. We're gonna need to see your fishing license. <laughs> Anything? Uh, not here. I got one down at the other place. Nice. Uh, it's interesting. Like all the locals showed up in the morning. Yeah. Totally not where we were fishing. They were like, like if we we're if this was that same area, they were like way down fishing the slower stuff. Oh, oh over at Yellow Creek. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Were they were they catching? Yeah, you you could see them like. They'd go sort of in ways as the, as the fish would come out. Yeah. Where, uh, you're going to fly your drone for a while? Yeah. I'm going to fish like right there. Oh, well, that's where I was going to But you're going to be flying the drone. <laughs> Yeah! Woo, we got him. Nice shad. Oh, there he goes. Slippery little dude. Alright, so we've got this spot behind us here. This is right behind our campground, so we're gonna just pop down here and see what it looks like. We've got this sketchy uh, rope that we've got to climb down, uh, but you know, maybe this will be worth it. We don't have to get back in the car today. Alright, we'll check in when we get down there. I'll go down. Okay. And then I'll take your rods so we don't break any rods. Alright, so we're gonna go out on these points here. I think it looks like some pretty good swinging water. Hopefully, get some fish here. I'm not gonna lie, this looks really good. Little shallow. All right, we are at last spot for the day, hopefully, and uh, we heard some really good reports about uh, just a lot of fish being around, so hopefully we're gonna get on them. All right. Okay. 
Got him. There you go. That's the biggest one I think I've caught <laughs> today, or in the last few days. For me. <laughs> oh! All right, so it's been a grind today. Uh, this morning was good. We caught three in the, uh, right off the bat, um, and then went to the spot behind our campground. Didn't do any good there. It was really shallow, and the water was too fast to really hold any fish. Taking a little break, eating some lunch. It's really hot out. Um, so we're going to go. There's a couple people sitting in this spot we want to go to. We're just kind of waiting for them to push out, and we're going to go down there. we got some intel that there's a big pile of fish sitting in there, so hopefully we can get on them for the evening bite. And... Uh, I will check into you when it is night. Hey, Mark. Mark. Everybody. So that's a wrap. Um, that was a great trip. I had a lot of fun fishing with Mark um, and Shandy. Uh, thank you, Shandy, for taking us out on your drift boat. Um, we caught some good fish, uh, not the numbers that we were hoping for, um, you know, but it's still great. The weeds ended up being more of a problem than I was expecting. You know, we spent about, you know, 50, 60 percent of our time just peeling weeds off our flies. Uh, but other than that, you know, great times. It's a beautiful place down here um, in, you know, southern Oregon. Uh, so, you know, if you get a chance to go after Shad, especially with the spay rod, I would definitely take, take that opportunity to do that. All right, tight lines.